That's the only way to unload a trailer. Get a good look at the roof. I thought he was gonna put straps on that to hold it down and nope, just lifted it up. Now he'll take the loader and scrape out the base. I better get out of his way. I assume this is my first time here. I just know how this stuff works. Seeing that pile. Yeah. There's the loader. Never filmed that way. <laughs> That was quite the investment, but it does help to get unloaded fast. Filthy truck. I was over there, and one of the guys over there in the loader pointed this way, and I saw this big old pile. So I'm like, huh. And there's a gate right there. I could have got in there, but there was a residential guy loading stuff up and he had that access cut off right where this truck is coming at right now turn left right there he's turning right but the guy had it blocked out so i had to go around the front and then come around and come in this way first time here That's quite the hinge. Well, he's done, so I'll get the paperwork, sign it, we can split it. We can clean that up later at his leisure. Voila. I think I'll just hook up to this now and then do the paperwork later. We're back. 
I just slide my axles forward, close the doors. Let's see if we need to do a dustpan washout. A blower. I have a blower now instead of a broom. Yeah, maybe I'll do it real quick. Do the paperwork first. Okay. Got a trader blown out. I bought a blower, so it, it actually helps it. It throws more particle dust in the air, though. So I should be wearing a mask. That's why I bought those masks a long time ago. Original purpose, but... Yeah. If I had to do it every day, I definitely would. But once in a while, it's tight. Whew, it's getting warm out there. Shows 85 on the dashboard temp. Outside ambient. Of course, probably more 75, 77-ish, I'm going to say. So, small world. Uh, the loader operator, the crane operator, you want to call the guy who used the loader and the tilt platform, is a retired CDOT worker. And we know each, we know some people from Pollen Mountains. Because I told him, I was like, I was filming because I have a YouTube channel. And he's like, oh, really? And I told him how some of my videos scared some people. Because <laughs> of my winter driving. So we got to conversing on that. It was pretty cool, though. Okay, how do we get out of this here joint? I have to take a look, see. Be right back. So, not what I wanted to do, but that's E470 right there, tollway. I just, I don't agree with tollways at all. I think they're BS. They already pay a lot in taxes. Pay a lot at fuel. Every time you buy gas and fuel, you pay taxes four highways. California uses that money to support illegal immigration, but I don't see how we should be paying on top of paying. Flipping ridiculous. I need to make a right-hand turn here. If I go left, I end up on E470. That's not what I want to do, even if it's only for a second. Let's squeeze right through here. Right turn on red after stop. Alto. This is kind of tough. You can't see the people coming off E470. As you can see, it's a flipping river. This is like one of them places where they you should not be able to turn after a stop because you can't see them coming around the corner and it's non-stop and like every E470 thing they get the they get the uh, royal treatment like they're illegal I'm going for it we're empty that means we can get it okay somebody took that out. It wasn't me, even though I hit the base. It was already down. Okay, so yeah, I guess we'll just take this due east to I-25 south. Now I was telling, the, the guy's name is Jack. Pretty nice guy. We uh, shoot the breeze and uh, I guess more reminiscent about we both have the same background a bit, C dot mountains, plowing and stuff. And uh, I told him I go I've, I've been with I'm on my eighth year with quality and this is the first time I've been here. He goes, All we get is quality trucks. I'm like, yeah, we haul um, Harbor Freight and a few things up over into that area. 
So when we're done, we're going to haul in the sawdust. So I've always been going to California with it. But, um, this time I got to take it back to Denver. I guess this isn't so bad. Looks like we're going to have a new highway pretty soon. Some of these backcountry roads were kind of narrow. Or maybe this was a big one that they're redoing. Who knows? So they got that E470, you're coming southbound or even northbound, and you want to get to Boulder, Broomfield, which is Mucho Dinero, you uh, take the tollway. some water quench that sawdust this is the only thing I don't like about uh, didn't want to really do this highway it's longer than the southbound highway that would take me to 36 but it's all these lights I didn't think, even think about construction but here it is Holy Family High School Pretty much had no choice in the matter or two to take this highway. I think it might be a decent highway when they get it finished. Yeah. Do more than 30 miles an hour, that's for sure. We need to get fuel. We are sitting at four gallons. Seven times four is 28 miles. It's probably about what we got to get to quality. But 
they say you have an extra 100 gallon reserve when you hit zero 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 zero. I'm going to pray to the highway gods, give me the green light. <laughs> There's no such thing. So I just got busted. Wasn't too bad. So usually we take our trailers, our empty trailers we get empty in Denver. We'll take them to uh, like Coors, some stainless, stainless steel fabricators, a plumbing supply place, and uh, an open park is full. The lake there. What the lake is? I never get out this way. Um. Anyway, you get it empty, then you go drop your empty trailer off. Don't take it back to the yard. But there's a chunk of rubber missing out of one of the tires, and I'm on. I'm low on fuel, and they took away our ability to get fuel, like if I had enough to go out to Aurora, but not enough to go to Aurora and then get to Inglewood, there was, there's a pilot out there. We used to be able to get fuel enough to get back to the yard, five, 10 gallons, just, you know, make sure you get there. And they took that away from us. So actually they kind of cut, shoot themselves in the foot because we can't deliver the trailers. If we come in and on fumes, we have to go back to the yard. So. I don't know, one of them things they'll probably figure out in the long run. Looks like a nice... Well, I guess it looked, looked better from when I first glanced at it, this old Chevy pickup. What is it, late 80s, early 90s? Here it comes. It's not bad. A good fixer upper. Here it comes right now. Oh. It's like a three quarter ton. It's pretty stout looking. Well, we'll call this video good. I'm going to get on the highway here and head down to back to the yard. Check out my new wheels for the whip. Find out when my tires are actually going to be here. I don't want to buy any more, but I was able to track them, and then I tried to track them this morning and said not available. Option not available. Do the COVID response. Read our updates. I tried to do that, it, it wouldn't let me do it. So I'll just check back later. Anyway, I mean, I, I, what's this guy going to do here? I need those new tires to be able to put them on. If I had them, I'd get them put on tonight or tomorrow. And then go up and get my registration done up in Grand County. Get my plates on the car. I was joking with Jack, the guy over there at the run the loader and the trailer tilter. He said it's been nice traffic has been nice for uh, since the COVID. <laughs> He's got a chuckle out of that. He was running for that pioneer company, running the end dumps, but 
He goes, uh, forget that with the traffic and everything. I'm like, yeah, I don't blame you. And then people would order stuff, and he goes, they'd live up on the mountain somewhere way up there. And you have to go deliver it, and the road's not plowed. And he goes, I'm not going to deal. I've been dealing with this stuff my whole time plowing. I'm not going to deal with this no more. So now he goes, I just hang out back here in the yard and run these machines. I'm like, that's cool. Well, that's it. You can see how much the suicidal insects have taken revenge out on the uh, windshield. So we'll call this a good one. Sort of. It'd be nice if it was clear. I didn't think about it. I could have cleaned it while I was there to getting them loaded. But nonetheless, it is what it is. Hope you enjoy. Until the next time. Enjoy. Peace. See ya.